Hello, I am Maarten Engels from Visual Productions in the Netherlands. One of the most important steps in creating a light show is to program your cues. In this video, I will show you how it is done in QD. Let's first have a look at QD's main screen. You see a grid with 64 playback buttons. Each of those playback buttons can contain some lighting content. What kind of content you program inside the playback is up to you. It can be one simple static scene, or it can be several cues, each with dynamic effects. A playback can contain lighting values just for one fixture, or it can contain scenes that involve all your lights. When the playback button indicates red, it means it has content inside, however, it is inactive. Green means it is active and currently fading from one cue into another. Yellow indicates the playback is active but paused on a certain cue. Although the playback buttons are direct access, meaning you can start any playback at any time, the extra controls you find at the bottom of the screen only apply to the bank that is selected by the blue bar. Let's make a simple example by programming two cues in the playback. First, we enable the edit button, then select the playback. This brings us into the edit screen. As you can see, I have already several fixtures patched. To start, I first select some fixtures, then I create a scene by bringing up levels in the programmer area. Now I add a cue, select it, and then press record. This copies the levels from my programmer into the cue. Now create a second scene. Again, add a cue, select it, and press record. Our programming is now done. We can go back to the main screen and activate the playback to see the result. Let's take it a step further. We will make an automatic chase on the second playback. Enable edit, choose the playback, and let's go and make some cues. Normally, the playback holds after each cue, requiring you to press the playback button again to step to the next cue. However, for a chase, we wish that the playback automatically traverses through the cues. We achieve this by selecting the cues and changing their condition into follow. Now it becomes important to set the delay time. This is the time the playback waits before it automatically steps to the next cue. Also, we can set a small fade time to make the chase look a bit more smooth. Let's go back to the main screen to test the result. Qt contains a powerful effects engine. Let's make a cue that demonstrates this feature. Enable edit, choose a new playback, select your fixtures. Open the effects dialog and set the parameters to your liking. Add a cue, select it and press record. Now go back to the main screen and start the effect. The effect can be scaled by using the playback master. Note how the effect is rendered around the static values that are stored in our first playback. As we have now successfully filled playbacks with new cues, I would like to finish with showing you how to modify an existing cue. Enable edit. Select the playback with content. Now select the cue you wish to modify. Press load. 
pressing load will select the fixtures that were used in this queue and copy the values back to the programmer area. You are now able to modify these values and write them back to the queue by pressing record. This concludes our exercise on programming queues. For more details, please download the Qt user manual from visualproductions.nl slash downloads. Thank you for watching.